All right, BJM, let's take a look at the 411 for this lightweight matchup. You gotta look if there's one thing to look at, man. It's a 12-0 record and everything, but it's 23 years of age. It shows how young Usman is, but he is wise beyond those years. 34 for Manny Murrow. We'll see if he can use that age difference as an advantage. From BJM to MCW. From the iconic LA Forum Live on Showtime, Bellator MMA stays right here in the 155 pound division for a lightweight feature schedule for three five minute rounds as we introduce the blue corner. At five foot 10, weighing in 156 pounds even, his professional record 12 wins, six losses, fighting out of Anadarko, Oklahoma, Manny the Dragon. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot 11, weighing in 155.3 pounds, coming off a successful Bellator debut. He remains undefeated now with 12 professional victories, no defeats, fighting out of Mahatska, Dagestan, Russia, introducing Usman Nurmagomedov. In charge, your referee, Frank Trigg. Really. Former Pride FC broadcast partner of mine, Frank Trigg, now a respected referee who gets the assignment in this Thank you. critical lightweight matchup. Undefeated Thank you. Nermago Madoff Ready? and the undefeated Ready? in Bellator MMA, Ready? Manny Muro, both in fact unbeaten inside the Bellator MMA cage. And uh, at the top of the telecast, I mentioned that we were following L.A. County COVID protocols and the mask mandate. Well, it's not being strongly enforced here at the forum tonight, so don't at me, people. And it's Usman Nurmagomedov in the red gloves, Manny the Dragon Muro in the blue gloves. Nice. Nice, nice kick. quick kick by Usman up top. Manny, man, this is what Manny has to do. He has to put that pressure. Oh, what a kick by Nurmagomedov. And Muro ain't that this is what we're talking about when we're talking about Uzban. He is slick. He is good. He's good at range. Uses that length well. He's fast. And another kick by Nurmagomedov, Madoff, and Muro gets taken down. There's that wrestling. Look how slick he is right to the back. And he needs to be careful right here with his positioning. Nurmagomedov Madoff with three submission wins, including a rear naked choke that came back in February of 2019 and now working from the back of Muro. Usman right now would actually be smart to push off of that cage. That will help him get Manny to the ground if that's what he wants. Nice uppercut under the arm. When you can't see that shot coming, it does a lot of damage. Manny Muro entering this fight with a heavy heart after recently losing his sister and biggest fan, Rain, to brain cancer. And I want to send our condolences to the Muro family as Nurmagomedov looking for that double leg takedown. Muro defending it. Tripod. He defended it, but it was because Usman decided, I'm going to try to take your back at that point. He can pull him down. Exactly. And he can pull him down. Backside on that. Nice job by Nurmagomedov. Marco Madoff started training at Muay Thai at seven, then wrestling. Began training at MMA at 11 years old. Remember, I said an early age under the Marco Madoff. Now to full mount on Muro, and Muro gives up his back. Immediately, Marco Madoff putting in the hooks. Muro trying to just get himself in a position where he is holding on to the arms. Marco Madoff, make sure that he does not let that locking arm end up in a position where he's got one arm around the neck and then locks it down. Marco Madoff training in San Jose for this fight. He felt that his striking would be his biggest advantage. But he is doing a good job of controlling Muro on the ground. Doing everything right right now. Taking his time. You see Manny trying to turn. There you go. Does. So the reversal by Muro now looking to perhaps try to take down Marco Madoff, but well defended. Nice job of digging that underhook by Uzman Nurmagomedov. Trying to hook that leg again. Knee 
strike to the belly by Nurmagomedov as they fight for position. The over under by Muro, and now just trying to keep Nurmagomedov. Oh, no, he needs the body. What a knee strike! And Nurmagomedov knees Matty Muro into oblivion. Right to the liver. You saw that knee strike come up, and he went down like he was shot. Mamma mia, what a yeah. stoppage by Usman Nurmagomedov. He's now 13 and 0 Mark, with his shot. eighth victory for, via form right of knockout. And what a finish. And let's hope Manny Murrow's okay. That either hit right at the liver or on the ribs. That shot right across. You see it touch him and he automatically goes down. It is hard to explain what that feeling is like, but it's like someone sticking a dagger in you. It is a horrible feeling. Usman hit him just right with that knee, and Manny was unable to do anything from that point. He is just waiting for the referee to stop it because he cannot move his body. Let's get the official announcement from Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, it comes to an end inside the Bellator cage officially three minutes, 30 seconds into round number one. The winner by TKO, still undefeated, Usman Nurmagomedov. Big John McCarthy will be speaking to our winner momentarily. I think that's the first time I've seen him smile in a while here. Uzman Nurmagomedov, that was just a beautiful performance for a guy that loves to stand up all the time. You decided to use your wrestling, you got him down to the ground, and it was in that exchange of the transition. That knee landed. Did you know when you landed it, it was over? Перевел его, удерживал внизу и закончил бой досрочно. Что ты можешь сказать по этому поводу? First, I want to say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. God give me everything. Alhamdulillah. По поводу... Да-да, салам алейкум. По поводу того, что... Я хотел просто показать людям, что я могу и бороться. Просто я думаю, мои оппоненты забывают, что у меня хорошая борьба. Просто хотел им показать, что если они захотят, я буду с ними бороться, если они хотят, я буду с ними стойки драться. Мы развиты во всех аспектах. Yeah, in this fight I wanted to make a statement. I want to show everyone that I can wrestle as well. I'm not only striking. I can wrestle. I can grapple. I can take uh, the fight any way it goes. I, yeah, and I believe I did the statement. You've had two fights in the Bellator cage against two guys that are grinding type of fighters. Who is it that you would like to come into this cage next against? Кого бы ты хотел вызвать на следующий бой? С кем бы ты хотел провести следующий бой и когда? Я не знаю. Я особо не вдаваюсь в это, кто с кем, как. Но я бы хотел бы драться в, э, на следующем турнире в Москве. Я думаю, там у меня еще больше э, аудитория и большая поддержка. Yeah, I don't know with who, I don't care with who, I don't care when, uh, where, but I would prefer to fight uh, in the next event in the Russia. I don't care who is, will be my opponent. Whatever, whoever Bellator will put me across of me in the cage, I will fight him. Well, I would love to see you in that, in that event in Russia, and I want to tell you congratulations on another beautiful performance. Uh, huh? Thank you so much for everybody. Thank you. Thank you so for your support. I want to say... I want to say thank you for my team, for my coach, Javier. Thank you for everything, coach, for supporting me, for everything. You help all guys. And, uh, 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 yeah, but I told you, just because I, uh, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, and I would like to, uh, to thank my, my late coach, Abdulmanat Nurmagomedov. I'm very grateful for him. Without him, I wouldn't be here, and I wouldn't be a fighter I am today. That was a beautiful thing. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Usman Nurmagomedov.
The Russians from Dagestan continue to dominate Usman Nurmagomedov now 13 and 0. And he is looking to surge up the 155 pound ranking.